It's another storm alert weather day here at Channel 3 and meteorologist Allison Pryor is live from the storm alert center with the latest on the storms that she's tracking. Allison, what's it looking like out there? Right, so we do have a few severe thunderstorm warnings that are in effect for our counties in northeast Alabama. So I wanted to go ahead and give you a heads up. If you live in Dade, Walker, Chattooga County, these storms are heading your way. Additionally, in Grundy County, we have this cell, a couple of them actually, northern portions and also down around the Mont Eagle area that's about to move into your region. Those are under significant weather advisories for wind gusts at 30 miles per hour and penny size hail. But of course, most of the attention needs to be on northeast Alabama. So I do have a couple of tracks here for those cells. This one here is in Jackson County that's moving to the east northeast. Uh, that's warned for hail at one inch in size. Here's the latest track as we look at those conditions. The Goodwin subdivision in about seven minutes, Pleasant Hill in about seven minutes, New Hope in about eight minutes. I'm going to shift down a little bit further to the south and show you this cell. This is for DeKalb County. This will be heading towards the Fort Payne area. This one was actually worn for one and a half inch size hail and you can see those black colors in here that's indicating that radar is picking up on some large objects so certainly you need to stay inside if you are outside maybe watching this on a tv head indoors right now so this is the latest track for that storm haze in about six minutes uh zeto in about 19 minutes and again this is going to be heading towards the fort Payne area and this will eventually move into our georgia counties as well so dade walker chattooga counties again head up for you. Mention that hail potential. Here's a loop of the hail swath with these individual cells. Now, the way the cells are, they're small in size, so you could be really close to it and not see any activity. But if you're right underneath there, we certainly continue to have these thin lines of that purple and black color that's indicating that there is hail within those storms. And that's what's moving through. Now, as we get further to the east, the good news is for the nighttime hours tonight, the environment of the atmosphere not as conducive to support these storms, so they will be weakening as they move eastward. I'm going to show you a look at our future scans. So this is taking our current radar and then pushing it out an hour from now. And you can see that movement into Dade County, into Walker County by about 715, just heading along the river just to the west of Chattanooga. So that's certainly going to be seeing some storminess right here in downtown Chattanooga. Also seeing some of those cells through northern portions of Hamilton County and continue to see activity in Grundy County. And all this will continue to move eastward during the evening time. Now I'm taking a brief break from that radar to show you a look at our temperatures because the reason we have that stronger chance for areas to the south, you can see those warmer temperatures. You had more breaks in that cloud cover for the day today, currently 70 in Dalton, 69 in Fort Payne, while only 60 in Chattanooga and 55 in Dayton. Winds from the east at seven miles per hour. So the severe weather threats for tonight from now all the way to 10 p.m. Eastern time. The two to really hone in on are those wind gusts and also that potential for hail across the area. If you're south and west of Chattanooga, scattered activity for you. Everywhere else, we're talking about an isolated chance. Tornadoes potential, it's very low. It's not zero, but very low. And then flooding also very low, just some standing water on those roads. So let's kind of time it out for the nighttime hours. Here showing about 8 o'clock tonight, showing that right along uh, kind of the metro area up to Dayton, heading towards I-75. By the time we get to about 930, it's going to be in our eastern counties at that point. And then by 10 o'clock, really pushing out and exiting across the area. So there may still be a stray shower behind that during the nighttime hours in our higher elevations, so Cumberland Plateau, eastern mountains after midnight, but that's not going to be a big deal. We just have to kind of get through about 10 p.m. Then when you're waking up tomorrow morning, yeah, we're still going to have some clouds with us in the morning time. Partly sunny at lunch, but look how nicely it's going to be clearing up for the afternoon. Really nice afternoon ahead for Sunday and into the evening time hours. We'll continue to have this nice weather for Monday as well. Sky watchers, I did get your reports in. I'll have those at 11 o'clock tonight as far as how much rainfall received today. But here's your seven day forecast 49 for overnight tonight. Again, let's get through those storms till about 10 p.m. Stay weather aware and then 72 for your high on Sunday. Joy.